Hi, I'm Steve-O, and this is the chess shop tutorial video specifically for the Wooden Axe server, although any server using chess shop plugin can use this tutorial as well. Starting off, I'll talk about how to read a sign. So here we have a chess shop sign. Very first line is the owner of it, which is Calzor. Second line is the amount that's being sold or bought, which is an uh, entire stack, 64. The B means buy and the S means sell, and the item is on the very bottom, which is dirt. Oh, the number next to B and S is a money value. So it sells for one, buys for one. To interact with a sign, to buy from it, you would right click on it and see it says it's currently out of stock. And if you want to sell something, you would left click. Very important, you don't want to accidentally buy or sell or get that mixed up. Left click is sell, right click is buy. And if you're curious as to how much money you have, just go ahead and type in slash money, enter. And it'll tell you right there how much money you currently have on you. So I can buy a whole lot of dirt with that amount. To create your own chest shop sign, first you gotta lay down a chest. And then put a sign next to it. First line, just leave it blank. You don't need to type anything there. It's gonna put your name on there for you. Second line is the amount that you're wanting to sell or buy with. So we'll just do five pieces of dirt. Because I'm gonna be doing this one for dirt as an example. And then for the sell and buy, we're just going to do people buy it from me for two. And then you do that colon. I think that's a colon. If not, then I'm going to look like a total dumbass. And then a number on the right of it, which would be one. So that's how much people can sell it to me for. It's going to put the B and the S on there for you. As long as you do, just like I set up right there, it'll put the rest on there. And then you want to do the name of the item. This one we're doing dirt. So just type in dirt. Done. And it'll say chess shop successfully created and you know it's working and then you'd of course put your item in there put some dirt in there and that's basically how to set up your own chess shop now if you also have the, a cell number on there and say you're working with something very expensive like diamonds and you have a bunch of space on there you can go ahead and put a different type of block in there and fill up that entire chest except one little spot so boom a stack of diamonds and that's all people will ever be able to sell to you because all the rest is filled up with some other random item. I'll go ahead and set up another one. On this one, let's say you don't want to deal with people selling things to you, you just want to sell things to other people. Leave the first line blank. Do the item amount, we'll do six pieces of dirt this time. And just do a number like two, so two dollars for six pieces of dirt. And then the name of the item and press done. And it's automatically going to put the buy for you and there's no sell because you only put one number and no colon to separate it now we're going to do sell only instead of buy only first line blank again actually when doing sell only it's kind of glitchy so i type in everything myself so you want to do your name and then the amount we'll do six and then you want to do the number two dollars and then a space and a capital s it's very important that you type everything out for just to sell only because it gets very confused and dirt is the name of the item and now it'll work but if you say don't capitalize the s it's might not gonna work it's kind of picky some items you don't know what the hell to call them so let's say I want to do this crafting table or workbench well what is it called exactly so you need to figure out the item name for it to put on the chest so you do slash item info all one word enter and it says, you know, workbench and then 58. That number there next to the name is the item number. You can also use those instead of the actual name. So we're going to do 111. Was it 58? Yes, my memory is somewhat decent. So I put uh, the item number in there instead of the name, so it knows what I'm talking about still. It went ahead and put the workbench on there. Now, very complex things like, say, this enchanted pickaxe I have here. How do you sell one of those? Again, you're going to have to do item info, and you're going to have to be fast with this one. Boom, it gives you all those numbers on the right. Um, again, I hope my memory is right on that one. AF, ADES, yes, I did it right. So you just saw how I did it. You have to be really fast, and you have to have some good memory. Or just write it down after you do slash item info. Just write this number down, and then put it on the item name. And then you put your 
pickaxe in there. And you can also sell ones that have durability, like this one's been used a few times, so when you do item info, it gives you this 182, so you'd have to write down an even longer item name. You'd have to write down all that crap. And item info works with every single block and item with the game. Moving on, I actually don't want people buying that from me, especially for a dollar. Sign placement relative to the chest. You can place a sign here, there, there, and down underneath it. Or you can also put a sign right here or any side of it, like the back side. You know, one, one, dirt, done, boom. Successfully created. And you know when it's linked to a chest because when you right click on it to open it, it's gonna open the chest using the sign. You can also share signs on a chest. So let's say I want to use one chest for two different items. This one will be dirt. This one will be cobblestone. And now they're both linked. Now oh, it's getting dark out. So if I right click on that one, the chest opens. Right click on that one, the same chest opens. So you can put dirt and cobble and both those chest shop signs will work running off just one box. Save space if you need to. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and return when it's daytime. And I'm back and it's daytime. I went ahead and took a shower during the night and got killed by a skeleton and lost all my stuff. Which is why it says death point. That's where it happened. Right about right there is where I died. Anyway, moving right along. Sign to chest shop priority. What I mean by that is if you have four boxes next to say, you know, just one sign, which box is it going to choose? Well, if you right click on it, you can see the bottom one takes priority over the left, right, and top ones. Or left and right, the left one will have priority over the right one. So in order of priority, first it chooses the bottom one, then it's going to go ahead and choose the top one. I'll go ahead and prove that by removing this one. So now when I select it, it'll open the top one. Then it's going to go the left one if that one's not there, and then if that one's not there, finally it'll go to the right one. And why that's somewhat important, I'll show you why, if you're working in a confined space. My wool wall. As you can see, I have a lot of chest shops cramped together for all 16 types of wool. And like here's one sign with three chests next to it. So I use that priority thing, so obviously the top one's going to take priority over these two, so the blue one's on top which makes room for these two to be selected by the ones underneath it. Same with what's going down, you know, down here. The bottom one gets priority over the left and right. If you kind of see what I'm saying there. If you want to cramp shit together, that's how you do it. Back to where we were. Don't have much else to talk about except uh, creative ways to set up a chest shop. Here's an example, like you could have a block and then the sign on top of it and then the chest shop is actually behind it concealed in a wall. The best way, if you have a really short hangover roof, you can do this where you just have a sign sitting here and you don't even see the chest shop because it's up in the ceiling. And something to note, normally you can't open a chest when there's a block on top of it. But if you turn that into a chest shop, blank one, one, dirt. So now that's a chest shop, it'll force that chest to open up even though there's a solid block on top of it. So that's very handy especially if you're putting it into the ceiling. Okay. Here's some nice pretty examples of laying out chest shops for different items. Wow, I have them all there. Now, the last thing I will talk about is specific to the Woodnax server, and what I'm talking about is portal. So if you're a member of the Woodnax server, just type in slash portal, and it's gonna give you a link, so you click on that. It's gonna open up your web browser and it's gonna ask you to sign up or log in. I have, I've already done that, so I'm on the portal. And on this portal is a section called Chess Shops. By the way, what this is, is it was developed by the server owner of the Woodnax. We simply just call him Matt. He developed this whole portal page, which is pretty cool. But anyway, there's a category called Chess Shops and it records everyone's chess shops after a transaction has been made. And it has a section for stores, which is very useful for someone like me because I'm a store owner. So here's me and here's my Walmart store. If you click on that, it's going to tell you what's in my store currently. And it's real time, so if something changes, it's going to up update automatically. 
The only catch is someone first has to make a transaction, either buy something or sell something to a chess shop for it to show up on this portal page. Now if you want to set up your own shop like this, after you've created a chess shop and it's shown up because someone has made a transaction, just simply click on My Profile and under You, it'll have a section for chess shops and there you'll see all your chess shops and what you want to do is click on one and we'll do the famous dirt shop since I've been using that one all through this video. And there's a section called store group so you type in the name of your store and then click update and you do that for every single one of your chess shops and then it'll show up in this store section along with these other ones. Here. Pretty cool stuff and that, again that's specific to the Wooden Axe server. That's, I guess that's about it.